This is SPSS Modeler Tutorial 1. I'm Santos Tan. I'm Research Assistant of Center for Marketing Engineering in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Today's tutorial includes four parts. First is preparation. It tells you how to open SPSS Modeler in your computer. And I've already put another video on the YouTube. If you are the students of marketing marketing research class, you can go to the video, open it, and follow the steps to open SPSS Modeler in Lab 410 CYT building. So I will skip the first part. The second part is overview of SPSS Modeler. First, let me introduce the business intelligence concept. Imagine you are a data analyst in a company and your boss or the management team want to make data-driven business decision. So you need to analyze the data and transfer the data into information. And then you need to transfer the information into knowledge to make a report. And then you need to present the report to your boss and let them to make business decision. So this is the whole process. And how to transform the data into knowledge? So now we will introduce the SPSS Modeler. Why we use SPSS Modeler? Because it builds model quickly and intuitively. Even if you don't know how to program, you still, you still can do the data analyst by SPSS Modeler because it's icon-based and it has virtual interface, you can drag and drop the node and collect them to make a string. Then you can do the data analysis. And this is the interface. From the top is the menu and toolbar. It is similar to Excel. And then here is the canvas. Below the canvas is palettes and nodes. To the right is Stream Manager. You can create different streams here. And here is Project Window. This is today's objective. First, you will learn basic operational skills of SPSS Modeler. And second, you will learn the RFM analysis by SPSS Modeler. So now let's first learn the basic operational skills. First, let's learn how to place a node and edit the node. Let's go to SPSS Modeler. First, find the source, click the source, and find war.file. How to place a node? You can drag and drop the node into the canvas. Or simply, you can double click the war file, and it goes to the canvas. So when you put a node, how to edit, you can right click on it, click edit, or you can double click on the node to edit a node. By double click, by right click, you can see cut, copy, and delete to edit the node. So after that, you need to learn how to connect nodes. Let's pull the WAR file first. And then we found export. Click export and drag and drop the Excel to the canvas. How to connect these two? You can right click on the WAR file, click connect, and then click Excel to connect these two. Another way to connect the nodes is that choose the WAR file first, double click the Excel, and then these two is connected. The third way to connect these two is drag and drop the Excel. Uh, put the mouse on the WAR file first, hold the mouse wheel, draw a line to Excel, and these two is connected. And this is the three ways to connect the to connect the nodes. And next is a simple practice. You, you, you will learn how to import a dataset 
and output the result and export the result. First, we will import the small sample cover.txt file. Let's delete. So now we click source, put the WAR file into canvas, double click it, and click here. We found small sample comma.txt, open it, and then here you will see some sample of the small sample comma here. And here you see read few names from file. It tells you to read id age income the field name from file. And here you see the field dynamics here, and you will see the data is separated by comma. So here we choose comma and view line. And and if you want to preview the data, you can click preview. And the first 10 records is shown here. After doing this, we click apply and OK. And the data is imported. And now, I will introduce the five tabs. Let's double click on here. And then here has five tabs. The first is file. I've already introduced it. The next is data. Here you see a lot of field. In most of the situations, we will not use this data tabs. But if you want to use it, you can click overwrite and then change the storage of file. You can change the integer into string or time. But in most of situations, the computer have Choose, have chosen for you. Next is filter. Here you will see a lot of fields. If you want to filter out some of the fields, you just click the arrow. It will not be imported. If you click again, it will go back to the default situation. Now next is types. Here is the data types. You can see some of them are continuous variable, some are categorical variable here. And the last one is annotation. You can use it to change the name of the node. Here we click custom. And if we want to change the name into small data, we type small data. And click apply and OK. You can see here the node has changed the name into small data. So here is the five tabs. Next, we need to output the data into table. So here we click output, and we drag and drop the table here, connect this to node, and then we click table, click run, and you will see the whole data set here, not just the first 10 records. From here, you can see that here is 514 records. This is the output. If you want to export the data into Excel, you can drag and drop to Excel, connect the small data to Excel, double click on Excel, and here we found file type. It's the old Excel type. We will use the latest. And here, Browse for file, we need to tell the computer where we put the file. So here we choose desktop. And here you can change the name of file. And we use export. And click save. And then click apply. And click run. Oh, uh, here, here has an error. What's wrong with it? Because we didn't tell the computer to read in the file. So here we use the, we first, we disconnect this connection and click field ops and find type, drag and drop the type into the canvas, connect the small data to type and then connect the type to Excel. So we click type and click read values, click apply and OK. Now we run the data and it should work fine. 
So it will export the data to desktop. So here we see desktop, there is export. So we have export the data to desktop. And we have finished the export data.